Hello, my name is Charles Schneider, president of your Columbus Bar Association. You know, at the end of every one of these videos, I always comment about how the Columbus Bar Association, in my opinion, is the best bar association in the state of Ohio. I really believe that, but it's only true because of the great work and dedication of our staff. On behalf of all the members of the Columbus Bar Association, I want to extend my thanks on their behalf to each and every one of you for making this the best bar association in the state of Ohio. I also want to give a special shout out to our executive director, Jill Snitcher. The American Bar Association hosts a leadership institute every year in Chicago. This year, they asked Jill to speak to the group. She spoke about how bar associations had to pivot during these last two years because of the pandemic. Congratulations, Jill. I also want to thank and congratulate Judge Fry and the Columbus Bar Foundation for hosting the evening with John Meacham. It was a great event. There were wonderful remarks also made by Chief Justice O'Connor and Chief Federal Judge Marbley. Their message to all those in attendance, especially the high school students, was the importance of voting. Which is a great segue for my next topic. The election of the Columbus Bar Association Board of Governors, your decision is not going to be easy, but voting is. It's online and there's a short bio of each candidate to help you when you're casting your vote. By the time you see this, the Bar Association will have hosted two in-person events in the month of March. The first one is Committee and Cocktails, always a popular evening. It was a great success. As long as it is safe, we plan on continuing to host these events on a monthly basis. Another in-person event is our upcoming annual meeting. It is scheduled for June 9. It is an opportunity to swear in the new board members and officers and to say thank you for those who have served during the past year. We're changing it this year. Instead of a formal lunch, we're going to have a more informal cocktail reception. I hope all of you are able to attend. Now about the Columbus legal community. Ed Lentz, a local historian, recently wrote an op-ed piece for the Columbus Dispatch. He focused on the great judges, lawyers, and cases that are part of our legal community. He closed the article with this observation, that for talent, virtue and achievements, they, referring to the judges and lawyers, measure well in the bench and bar of Columbus will not suffer by comparison with any similar group in the land. I agree, and I'm proud to be a member of this legal community. Thank you for all that you do to make this such a great community to practice law. And thank you for your support as president of the Columbus Bar Association what I believe to be the best bar association in the state of Ohio.